first map. I still can't get over that round that Infinity basically handed to Denial on the, the previous map on Inferno. But looks like the odds have actually shrunk a little bit closer together bit. after that one. Looking at this pistol round now, Denial hitting this Ivy very quickly. Davies makes a little bit of contact to start, but it does look like the Denial members will be heading out. Ivy now pinching onto Ooh. this outside site. Danger zone, they're into camera right now. They're trying to line up the shots, but both teams are gonna have to reload here shortly as they miss quite a few. Bomb will be planted on the front end of the site as now the CTs have two players over towards the Z connector, and you've got one that's coming out of uh, the IV side of things. So you are in position to make a good retake now, especially now that you're opening up the angles. The Glocks have to be able to hit the headshots right now because at distance, they're not gonna do much against all this chest armor. Two men left remain, blue and sickly right now. Blue's got the next two kills, and it's only points. 1v1 all of a sudden. He's on the bomb for a 10-second defuse. Blue just goes in and spams a couple shots off, and suddenly, as scrappy as that was on the first pistol round, Denial do edge out that lead. Okay, Denial up 1-0 now, and they got to have a clean round here, Dallas. they got to start building that economy very early. That was a nice outside hit. They actually smoke off towards the back of green, towards Ivy, and leaves that little gap that allows them to actually sneak out, check that hell position, and then move into the site. The remaining members on Denial, the other two, are heading out towards mid, heading out towards ladder, creating a little bit of a distraction. Denial doing a great job there, swarming at the same time. Just a couple pistols here. Deagle and two P250s were purchased to start this off for Infinity. You see the utility is already being thrown in. Link has made his way over towards Olaf and starting to push ahead of that one. Passing Sandwich as well. They're going to actually get the entirety of the north side of this site and make their way in. Coming across, though, they have lost their first and their second as well. They can start to get a little bit sticky now as it's back to a 2v2. And Sam, oh no, not like this. Him. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and then he gets caught by oh, Davies no. pushing it. Oh my he gosh. He pulled the pen. He's like, I don't know what to do with Jeez. it. <laughs> Jeez, Sam now has to fall all the way back. I do imagine he's going to be aiming towards inner here to make this work for himself. No, actually moving back towards middle. And this is going to get very scary for himself. <laughs> he pulled the pin and just, I'm sorry, <laughs> he threw the grenade. Luckily, it only did a little bit of damage, but it did upset him to the point where he got peaked and went down. So Sam now 1v2. Only 14 HP. It's two shots to the body from the USP or anywhere from the Deagle. And it, 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 the round could go to the really almost full eco. Just a little bit of money invested on this one. Sam now coming into Z Connector. He clears out the corner, has the first. He can make a beeline over to the B site if he chooses. That would be the safe route. Though coming across the back lanes, that's Davies. And it's going to be planted at Summit. Okay, Davies now, he was waiting for an outside plant, hearing that plant go down towards the inner bomb site, he will be rotating over. Sam is playing this very aggressively with his HP though, and he might get timing here. Looking away, there it is. Davies able to take him down, Infinity able to pick up their full eco, really only a couple Yikes. deagles on the field. And that's gonna be a 1-1 scoreline as Denial now, forced to either decide are we going to be buying into this round, or are we going to tap out and give Infinity the opportunity to get their second? I've never seen a team play hot potato with a high explosive grenade in a 2v2 situation. I wish that was the replay coming up. <laughs> but, man, I mean, all you invested in that was a Deagle and two P250s. Oh. So, I mean, that is that was it. That's it. No armor, no nothing else. You're able to get most of the kills with pistols, and then the rifle came in towards the end to close it out. But that... That's one that Infinity just earned back from themselves from the previous map. Uh, I, they, they dropped that one round over towards the B side on Inferno. I well, think they should have won. Yeah, I mean, but that was so late into the half. That's what made it brutal, right? This is so early on that Denal can actually recover from this. You know what I mean? It's not a momentum shift. It's not giving the opportunity just too much yet. Still very early on in the game. But still, picking up an eco round yeah. is picking up an eco round. Well, that's the thing. On your T side, how important your five rounds are that you want to get. And you're obviously your easier easiest chance at that is to the win your pistol, pistol and the second one. Yep. So you won pistol yep. and you just blew it away on the second one. Now they try to go towards the inner site. Blue Meister now on the top side. He's the man with the bomb. And now Malbs is hanging out at the spools. So that's the first point of contact. Cruzen is supporting from Z Connector, but it's not really that much up front. You might lose Malbs right out of the gates if they were to come down that ramp. But now instead they look like they might drop out of this ladder. 
Yeah, it does look like they're going to be bursting right out. Spamzy now playing on the other side of this, getting ready to defend this position. As the smoke fades, we should see the Denial members heading out into this outside area. But will they be able to get the bomb down, Dallas? I'm going to say no. I don't know, man. It could work out for them. They're able to get Spamzy off of the first angle, and he's traded. Now, points at a distance is able to get that one, but these pistols are coming in hot. I think they have earned a bomb plant, but somebody's left it back and behind. 2v3 right now. They're lucky to be able to get that next frag. And they're going to take that bomb and go up this ladder, but Mobs is ready. Ay, ay, ay. That bomb falls right into Botsy's hands, and he's not going to be able to do anything standing on the ladder trying to spray his gun back up uphill at that. Infinity do get that round, even though it was a pretty good entry from Denial. Yeah, a, a little bit of a costly round there for the Infinity side, losing two members towards that outside area. Denial now will be picking up these AKs. They will have the AWP on the back of Sickly here. And approaching into this round, they're going to need to take it slow. I, I imagine going fast is going to be very unstructured for them. I don't imagine that they've got a very strong outside presence or outside hit in front of them, but we'll have to see here. As the round does unfold, it does look like Denial just running the default right off the bat, getting a feel for how Infinity wants to play these gun rounds. As Infinity look for a four-man push Aye. towards Inner. Wow. Oh my Another goodness, person they're going to get getting two caught. kills, a dink and a donk against Blue, and now they're able to upgrade that SMG against them. Oh, they tried to grenade. They actually failed to grenade themselves. It bounces back at them. That hurts Davies a lot. Now they push up and in. Malt has one looking for the next one, but Sam A is doing rather well today. He's able to trade that, but you're still playing from behind, outnumbered two to one in the odds with the four surviving for Infinity. Vati needs to come in. These are your two big fraggers from the last map. And uh, Vati, his ankles just showed. But Sam A is able to punish points for taking those shots. Okay, and these members on denial now. Still an opportunity for them to open up the outside bomb site, but are they going to be able to do it? Sam, he's been spotted. He's already gotten two kills on the round. Vati on 30 HP here. Wow, I snuck out through Ivy. That was cruising. He's actually going down Ivy. Ooh, this could cost yeah. the outside bomb site, though. It could. Um, they take that first peek. That's going to be contact. Now Ivy is going to be a really strong position. Sam is not going to see it coming. In fact, he never does. Spamzy gets the kill from the other side. So after that first salvo is shot off by Sam A, suddenly the player that was leaving Ivy becomes a really strong pawn. And really, I mean, he's more like a, a rook or a knight on your <laughs> Just chessboard. moving up. Yeah. You can only move horizontal or vertically, right? <laughs> I love myself some good chess. Nonetheless, though, Infinity able to pick up that gun round from Denial, absolutely shutting them down, Dallas, with that inner push. Three people pushing up that lower area with one person pushed up towards upper to defend. They find that first player on the T side looking down, and then they aggress towards the stairs. Catch off, I believe, Blue, who is just doing some sort of gun switch thing going on there. Uh -oh, it's a very easy round for well, Infinity. Mobs uh, is doing the early warning system idea here. He had the deep smoke up there, so he's going to allow good. them to drop into the great. site. Now he catches them from the flank on this one, but he is so wide, he's going to eventually die. That's going to be a bomb planted and a weapon that can be recovered coming into that. There's a Molotov down there as well, but there's not much room to work with. Yep. Just sickly left. The man that was late to the party coming down the hill with a P250. Is there a weapon for him to recover? Wow. Nice shot. Wow. Nice yeah, shot. Great shot, especially with the aim punch in there. All right, Infinity on to their fourth now. You were mentioning Malbs. That was some good play from him to actually do the aggressive smoke play on the other side of it as the T's rush down. That's the last spot that they anticipated. They do end up getting the bomb down, however, so that is going to allow them to pick up an op going into this round. I'd like to see that once again really start off the round. I don't want to see these denial players go down too early. And in fact, Dallas, they opt not to get that AWP. That could be very detrimental to their cause as we are going to see Spamzy with his on his back. And that's going to keep Denial from taking those long-distance engagements. Yep, Spamzy right now. Let's see which way he goes. He's into Z Connector, and he might just take the quick peek into T-Con. He throws a Molotov in instead of the peek, and he'll go up on top of the trains to get this top-down view into the site in case that the smokes come in and start to cascade on the low side of that. Pop flash in towards the ramp room. Mobs is in the exact same position as he was before, and he has heard them come down through these halls. But, man, that smoke, how did they not spot him right now? They seem to look right towards him. Yeah, they'll be able to spot his ankles, but he spots them right back. 
a neat little interesting strategy. That might actually be a one-way with how far up that smoke is, and it acts as you, they can't see their, their heads in the clouds, and then you can see their ankles. Davies able to take down Sam A, who is supposed to be lurking Ivy. He's going to fall very early into the round. It's on Malbs now to defend the lower bombsite. Able to take down Vati, oh. able to take down oh, Link, my as goodness. well as Blue. Now the final member, Sickly, will be able to take him down, but it's a one-on-three, Dallas. Yeah, he would need the ace clutch on this. And that is a real tough spot, but it is possible. He plants it dead center on the bomb train. Now, here's the problem. He's getting there off the bomb train after that point. He was afraid of somebody working on the long flank. He didn't have enough eyes on the field, considering only his two were there. And uh, he was worried about what was coming up from behind. So ends up going down, made an, uh, a monstrous little effort there at the end to get two kills. But Mulbs' initial defense there. Almost even picks up his fourth kill on that round, which had really stumped everything. I doubt they would have even got a bomb plant at that point. But Mob's coming up big. That's a tough sight to hold by yourself. Definitely, definitely a tough sight to hold by yourself. But here's the shooting from Mob's, able to pick off that first player, then the other two towards that upper, across that upper catwalk, essentially. Sickly does come in and trade it out eventually, but it's too little too late. There isn't enough time for Sickly to really move into the site, position himself. The rotations have already got there, and Infinity picked themselves up a fifth round, and it does look like Sickly will get the AWP on his back. Yep, then I'll go back for the buy. Oh, we're going to see that same one-way smoke again towards lower from uh, Mulbs, but he's not going to play it aggressively this time. Okay. There's Spamzy taking down Sigli with that off towards the T-Con. Now man advantage going the way of Infinity, if but for a moment. Just a moment, but more and more territory is being gobbled up by Mulbs here. He's in the upper box halls, and he's staring down range. He spots nothing. But there's that first refrag. That's going to be Spamzy that goes down relatively early in an awkward spot. So they, yeah. they have presence all across this map for Denial. They could pinch on this A site real quickly because they've got top ladder, they've got one T-Con, they've got one Ivy, but that relies on so many 1v1s, especially for that bomb to get into the site. They've lost the first one over towards Ivy, and now you're again playing from behind. Yeah, Spamzy there gets taken down on some aggression towards middle after getting that entry kill. He doesn't fall back. He keeps on poking. He keeps on prodding. Vadi puts an end to that. And then Davies now aggresses towards Ivy to look for that number advantage or even keep it in his, his circle. And he's able to find that kill. But still a very, very hard frag for Davies to pick up. Still Malbs alone. He can get a quicker rotation coming from Z, and it would be points likely to get there first. But really, Malbs up front. All three RTs decide to come down the ramp, and they will jump peek down. He's got, actually got the audio cue on this one, holding a wide wrangle. He's got them both. Malbs MVP even looks up to above him, knowing that there's a problem. There's an extra player that hasn't been accounted for, but points finishes the job. The fast rotation that I was talking about, because he could hear them take that leap down into the ramp. Yep. All right, 6-1 to one is our scoreline. It does look like Denial will be calling a timeout just to chill the entire server out. Infinity definitely getting off to a strong start here on their CT side. Denial now, they need to figure out how they need to approach these rounds. They can't really look towards anything fast because of the fact that Infinity have been putting an end to them on every take they try to attempt. For Denial right now, I do imagine they're going to be pressuring Ivy very heavy here. And this is the aggression from Davies. Yep. Could have been... Could be a massive impact towards that outside hold if he goes down, but he is able to pick up the frag onto Sam A, yep. and he is able to keep his team in that man advantage situation. Yeah, the fact that you lose Sam out towards Ivy means that the, the rest of the team just decides to give up the A site. They don't have enough utility to get into that site. They don't have the numbers to get into that site. They decide to go towards B, which is a little bit easier stance. But man, really, Malbs has been popping off. He's looking very similar to what Points was doing at the B site yep. last map. He's at 12 and 5 right now. Now with an assist up there too. It does look like the now want to execute on this outer bomb site as we are gonna see three members positioned towards this T-Con getting ready to burst out. Spamzy now catches this flash, has to fall back. The defense is live for Infinity. Can they do anything? Spamzy with a great shot to start it oh, off. Not your teammates, not like this. He is now no scope, two players. Looking for the next one as well. He quick scopes that one. Wow. Wow, I am really surprised nobody from Infinity died right there. Remind me never to get in front of <laughs> one of the Infinity players it's while like, I'm on their team. It's like a bot. When you flash a bot, they just start shooting. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my goodness. Spamzy get flashed and almost turned around and just headshot his teammate almost. He did make it look very nice in the middle of uh, almost taking his teammate's head <laughs> off, though, as he did hit two no-scopes on that rush. And that, that, that was a very nice hold coming out from Infinity. One of them flashed as well. 
So uh, now you're going to get rifles back for denial. They have been a little bit lackluster on their T side rifles for sure. Haven't won a single one. In fact, the only round denial is one is their pistol round, just to remind everybody. Maybe if you haven't been here yet. Davies has the upper box hole control. This is a strat we've oh, seen before. This is huge. We've seen the triple upper box hole strat before, exactly. Davies gets that kill at range, and since there's no more further contention, they back off. Only one player was spotted at that point, too. This has to be peculiar, too, because they just killed Mobs, a B-site player by Ivy. Yeah, and Sam is actually going to move up in that position there, pretty much lurking towards the end of Ivy. While the rest of the Denial players get in position here, we do see Blue Meister re-aggressing towards Inner. Davies might be able to catch him, and he does exactly that, securing the Inner bomb site even further for his side now. And the remaining Denial players, as we do see Same going down towards Ivy, it will be on Sickly. <laughs> As he does take down Cruz and trying to come up the ladder. It seems a little clowny to me at this, at this point. We're getting some very strange Counter-Strike getting played out. Maybe it's just getting late. Maybe it's very late, and we're going, we're, we're oh, well into. It is I mean, late. first map went into OT. Second map went 30 rounds, and now we're so far getting at a the blow up. mid part of the ninth round. So, uh, yeah, there's still a chance that we do end up on playing 90 rounds between these teams. Now, Malbs, who's been lights out on this B site, now it's Davies with 5 HP, and his timing is not to his favor. He's underneath him, though. Sickly gets that shot, and B site's going to be open for business. Good grenade and well-timed as well. 50 damage to Spamzy right there. 2v2 situation, and they don't have angles. Smokes have come in and plugged up some of the angles, some of the lanes for the CTs to be able to see downrange. Sickly is actually in a great position here. He's, well, him and both Vati towards this bomb train, towards this pop dog. The nades will be coming in. The retake is underway. Sickly down to 17 HP. And now Vati trying to make a play. Will be able to take down points, but is Spamzy able to make this he one happen? He hasn't detected him. Oh, he squeaks out into the ramp. Spamzy goes straight to the bomb. Spamzy hasn't shown himself oh. what a great shot with his sidearm, but he doesn't seem to have the time. He's, He's got, got a kit, kit, though. All right. Manages to scavenge that one off of Davies' body. you got to remember that he was down there next to Spools. Yeah. I can't believe that somebody doesn't have a kit after you've won now eight rounds in a row. <laughs> Don't get me started. There's a, there's a lot of things I couldn't believe that went down. But these, guys are, these guys are pushing my buttons. Yeah, Infinity's making it happen here. Eight to one is the score line. And Denial not really being able. That was the most success I think we've seen out of them in, a, in these nine yeah. rounds that we've seen played out. Yeah, but it was also a change in strategy. It was a strategy we had seen earlier on with the three-man push up ramp, but it was Malbs that was over towards the Ivy side, so yeah. not his usual cup of tea. Yeah. Now, after that works, they go back into something that's been working out very, very well for them. There's that same smoke, that little one-way smoke that lands up there that he can look underneath that angle and be able to spot them earlier than they can detect him. Now, this is interesting. He's got support as well. So if Link makes contact with Mobs, you're going to see Cruzen wide swing off of that and look for a kill. Towards Ivy, Denial now pressuring it just a little bit here, enough to make Davies uncomfortable enough to throw a smoke. And there's Mobs making that contact with Link, and he's just going to fall off. Cruzen already did his wide swing, and now he's in a great position holding this box halls. You've had some bomb plant consistency for Denial, but they just haven't been able to hang on to it. Yep. They've been rewarded for four bomb plants so far, and they've been at max loss Every bonus single time they forever. moved into bomb plant position, for the most part, though, it's been like a 1vx situation. Right. So that was really the first round where we saw the bomb plant go down, and it was a 2v2. Wow, Mobs is back over towards cameras this time. So they, after Mobs got that kill over towards B ramp, they've just left Cruzen up top in that upper box hall's position. Yeah, and he's actually able to make the call saying, hey, there's a couple people here, but they're not pressured it. Everybody stay towards the outside bomb site, and it does look like it's going to be on points to initially hold down ladder while the remaining members are concentrating on middle and ivy. Yeah, everybody's holding an angle out here considering you have an extra body in that they can all watch this. Now, points has been pushed off with a flashbang, but he may have spotted a shoulder. I think he did. He did. Sam A gets the kill against Mobs. Great shot. Now you're starting to see everybody start to get a little bit weak, but they get three kills for the price of two. That should be all fine and dandy. Spamzy what? has points, who was trying to do some electrical work on the E-Box. Uh, seven seconds, six. He will get, oh, if he commits to the bomb plane, he dies anyway. Bomb does not get planted. Uh, yeah, interesting. Uh, oh, they get the double up at the end of the round. <laughs> I can see your I'm your trying hands. to understand. Explain. <laughs> Sickly got a kill from Ladder with the AWP. Points, after picking up his frags, turn his back towards Sickly there. Just buries his head into E-Box. <laughs> yeah, and it's almost as if there was no call. Maybe there was a little bit of a miscommunication going on. This is what I'm talking about here. Look, you're going to see Sickly pick up a frag, and then Points just 
stares into <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I love so, it. <laughs> I think there was a little bit of a miscommunication in that moment. I just love that we got to see that one. Uh, but still, a 9-1 to one onslaught. Denial are getting to the point where they have to just win out the half to get the average half. You know, Or if they manage to win out from here, they can end up getting a 9-6, which is a pretty good T-half considering. But they would have to start this on pistol armor. Okay. Pistol armor is in fact what Denial are going to be rolling into this round with. The double up setup of Davies as well as Cruzen looking to start this round off very well for the CT side. You're going to see Davies now opping down towards lower while Cruzen or Davies will be taking down Sammy while Cruzen <laughs> opping down towards lower. <laughs> He just shot his teammate in the back of the head, spams it coming from a spot that the T's would never be able to reach. I don't know what's happening. They get all five kills, nobody dies. Oh, this is very, very peculiar Counter-Strike. Ten to one now, and it has been, uh, it's been interesting. A tough game so far for Denial, as uh, most of their players have been kept at five or under kills. Only Sickly has been able to get up there, and he's still not of, above one uh, kill to death. He's at ten and eleven. Okay, Infinity doing a great job on their CT side, however. I mean, as much as we're saying that it's a little bit disconnected, looking a little bit sloppy, Infinity is still coming out with these round wins, and they're coming out very confidently right now, as Sigley does start the round off on the right foot. Getting that kill onto points now is going to give them an opportunity to just spread the map, try and make Infinity re-aggress, and it does look like Infinity's going to bite. Looking at Cruzen and Mobs now, they're going to be boosting towards this box halls. I don't actually know if they'll be able to find anything here. Yeah, that's a tough spot to be able to see across. So they drop off that boost, but this is one of the rare times that we see Denial actually having a man advantage. Now they, it was very, very early in the round two, so they can play this at their own pace. Slow it down, play clean Counter-Strike, get in there. you got scopes, you can reach out, grab people. Sickly's got the off. Link has the Krieg. They can get that one-shot capability to power through the Infinity players. However, with two ops on the field from Infinity, Davies being watching Tcon in the Z connector, and then Cruzen, that's actually, he's holding the Ivy side, but passive towards CT spawn. So they have those first two ops. They're expected to pick off the first couple kills, but Denial are playing this correctly. Like I say, slowly, they throw some smokes, they obscure the vision. Okay, Cruzen now is opting down towards this Ivy area as Davies and Spamzy, they've set themselves up for a little bit of a crossfire. Davies now opting in within the Z. Should be able to find himself one missing that shot, however, as Sickly will be able to trade it out. It's on Spamzy to make this one happen. Not able to do it either as Sickly picking up his third on the round. He's going to keep going here, and Denal might be able to pick up their second. They could. Angle, very thin one for Malbs. And he's got a little target rich environment out in front of him, but Denial have suddenly managed to take it 180 degrees. They pick up a perfect round. So far, they've bookended the half. It's been one pistol round for Denial, 10 rounds in a row for Infinity, and then a rifle round, completely different animal for Denial this round. So now, still, Infinity shouldn't have too much of a problem economically in the remainder of the half. It would have to be a win out for Denial. And Davies, he would be the one that would be buying the ops and share them over to the spam. He's got 9,900 still. Okay, now more of the same here. Just running that default off the bat. Link, he's going to be watching that inner push while two members of Denial heading towards Ivy. That's going to be Sickly as well as Sam A. They're looking for a little bit of a run boost to cross this Ivy and make it happen for them. Yep. Well, they do not instead execute that. It looks like with a, a deep smoke back there that they'll just cross it safely. So Denial, if they are to replicate the success from the previous round, need this opening frag. They cannot let Infinity get the, that first entry. And Infinity, in real honesty, have been playing aggressive a lot towards this B site. Finally, that last round where they took the first casualty, they're like, okay, we're no longer playing aggressive at that. It'd be a shame if Infinity changed their play style just on that one round win from Denial because it has been working in spades on their hyper-aggression from CTs. All right, now Point smoking outside that ladder. We'll be able to find two, as I do believe Denial thinking he was just smoking it off, not playing that position. They go for the drop. Point surprises them, picks up a very nice kill. Sam A does take down Davies, but look at this from Points. He's going to head up the ladder here, maybe oh, even catching off there. another player, and he does catch off Vati. Yeah, Vati saw him, but... Uh he couldn't quite shoulder his rifle quickly enough. Now Sickly comes in. Two for two. Okay. 
Now you've got points who's sitting out here fighting. Sam A can't quite get a spray under control. This is possible for Sickly, but he has to make a sprint towards this site. 18 seconds on the clock. His pistol is out. He knows he has two targets out there. The call is likely out there that they're both lit, both in the 30s. But planting this bomb is going to be a really difficult spot, especially when he's flanked. He basically has to stick this one after making first contact and points hanging go. out on the back side of the ladder. Secures the round. 11 to 2 is our scoreline there. And Denal picking up some very nice frags as the round just started to look like it was going to go Infinity's way off of points' play towards that ladder. All of a sudden, Denal turned the round on its head, make that comeback possible. But this is what I was talking about. Points actually smokes outside of the ladder and then instantly they drop one by one. Uh, Blue and Link, uh, they dropped in one at a time. Now, I had seen them before. That has they been went spotted. for the head stack. They did the head stack and they failed it previously. They uh, may have failed okay. it again. Uh, that's why they came in one at a time. Didn't quite get that one. There's a failed Molotov from points as we are back into the rhythm of things that were successful for Infinity. Mobs going aggressive in the upper box hall. Spots Link as well, holding the high ground up here, but knows Link's not too much of a threat. He swings out, gets the kill. I thought Mobs was just going to hang on that angle and not expect Link to peek that one. So they lose that trade, and I'd say that's a favorable trade for, for Denial for sure, even though they took some damage to the two more players. Okay, it does look like we are going to have Sam A doing the lurk position towards Ivy once again. In response, Infinity has sent one member, Spamzy, to help out towards that inner bomb site. So it's going to be Davies as well as points to hold down the outer yard. And what's going to happen within this round now is Link, just waiting for Cruzin to regress, might actually be able to catch him off here as the remaining Denial members are moving out towards that outer bomb site. Well, it's not looking like they're actually going to be heading out towards TCOM, but instead favoring Ivy. Well, it's a patience game up here in the upper box halls. Yeah, whoever is, peaks first. Yeah, whoever peaks first. But Link might just suspect, like, okay, my team's executing AI. i got to get to the ladder room. Yeah, Link might actually even go for an inner fake, turn his back, go towards those that lower ramp to fake, and that's where it could open up. Uh, Spamzy's running out of room real quick. He's got players surrounding him. They will take him down, and so far a trade that's a favorable to Denial. Cruzin, the more patient player, wins that upper box hall's play, and Sickly's last man standing. There you go. His barrel sells his position, though, on the peak, and he goes down. Now Denial are into the last round of this half. They've got scattered cash. They should be able to buy up relatively comfortably, but I think there was one player in there that was a bit shortchanged. I see Sickly is a player that still has a Glock, so there was probably an AK on the deck. Yeah, there, there is. is. It's not going to be an op, though. No, it won't be, but you know what? For Denial, at this point, they'll take whatever they can. They need to get this third round on the board. You don't want Infinity to end this half 13-2, to two, Dallas. That is just way too much of a landslide for Denial to be able to come back from. But it does look like Infinity will have to defend off this inner rush as we are seeing all the Denial members moving very quickly towards this box halls. Mobs is still down here. This time, he doesn't have the direct support. It is coming from Cruzen. He throws a smoke. It's not his usual one-way smoke. He's gotten out of that position. So Cruzen has come through Z to give help, and it's the right call. But Mobs has his back to ramp while Cruzen holds that ramp. Mobs is going to hold the high end of this. And your defense is just those two guys. Not even a fast rotate possible. Points could come up the ladder, but how often do you see the CTs push that? Now they're going to have flashbangs and smokes in here. Mobs is going to go into the smoke. He's body blocking the T's. He goes in, and they lose those both defenders immediately on the front lines. It was a bold move from Mobs, but with his positioning and where he saw that smoke and flashbang coming from the upper halls, he decides to just go into the smoke, try and get into the terrorist. Points does end up on the flank right now, but it's again one of those situations where Denial have a couple men advantage. They're going to continue to expand on that idea. It is only points, and he goes down. Denial end up winning two rifle rounds. That second one that they do win is the 15th, and it's again healthy. So what's the difference? What is what is so similar between those two rifle rounds that Denial won? I think Infinity just ended up getting sloppy towards the end of this half here. Really, Denial able to pick up two out of the last four rounds really shows me that Infinity not having a, a little too strong of consistency moving towards the end of that half, getting a little bit more sloppy, a little bit more loose within their play style, and Denial does exploit that, able to pick up those final two rounds, keeps them in this game, and we're going to look to the second half now. That's right. So, I mean, th that's a difference that those first, that pistol plus couple would have made the difference till they got the exact same spot. We're going to have the second half coming up shortly for Infinity and Denial. You're watching the Pro League.
ladies and gentlemen. Welcome y'all back to the uh, Pro League. Denial versus Infinity on map three. The first half dominant 12 to three. We can see the ADRs of who's carrying who. Points on top of it, but Mobs, I say, has had some serious impact in this game. Sickly on the other side is able to pick up some good points for himself as well, but it's just not enough. He has 111 ADR, but sometimes uh, one man band isn't good enough. Not to no. my tune. Uh, definitely, Malves is the standout performer on the Infinity side, essentially playing that inner bomb site by himself, actually doing quite an impressive job of it as well. Entry kills after entry kills, defending that bomb site, allowing rotations to come in. And right now, as we begin this round, we are going to see Infinity heading three members above this ladder towards inner, while we are going to have Spamzy actually group up with him as well. Yeah, they got Ivy Presence out here too. Davies is there, and that's going to keep Sam A locked into that position. And the whole team that's over there has decided to go away from ladder, but Blue is in upper halls this? already. He checks it himself. They turn and look, but they've got the shot. Blue had the opportunity to pick up a couple multi-frags right there, but now he hands over oh, this Molotov. the USP. Deep Molotov, too, that lands in front of Z, if I'm not mistaken. And now the CTs are getting pushed to the back of the yard. Malves has been able to push all the way to the front of the yellow train, and he wants more. He's picked up another kill, a 2v4 situation. Back end for Denial. They're on the receiving end of most everything from Malbs. Again, an almost ace from him. 4K on the pistol round. Spamsy takes the last one. Yeah, nice round from Infinity. Actually catching a break there as Blue Jiggle peeking, like you said, gives away his position. His shoulder just actually peeks out there, and that's going to draw the attention of all the Infinity players able to take him down. And at that point, they just flood into the site. The Molotov comes out towards Z, which cuts off that entire lane, allows even more room for Infinity to move across the site. They get aggressive, which you're supposed to do on the pistol round. You're supposed to get in their face. You're supposed to take out those angles and Malbs keeps that train going, picking up four kills on the round in efforts to get Infinity to 13. Well, Denial had gotten three rounds in the first half. So they had earned a guaranteed rifle round for themselves. So they're going to go into a force buy here. CZ's armor for most everybody. Scout for Sickly, so he will not be able to have any uh, 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 support from the aim punch. So points is out there with a MAC-10. There's just two players with no head armor, though. But we've seen what MAC-10s can do when they're running at you full steam ahead. Ramming speed. All right. With this force by coming up from Denial, I do imagine they're going to want to get a very aggressive to start this round. It does look like they're going to play four members towards that outer yard, and Mobs will be playing this initial contact if they do come towards Z's. He's positioned himself behind this box in the T-Con. Yeah, just chilling, waiting to see if Denial are on an aggro strat. Which there is a little bit of aggression from Vati coming in. Yeah, Sam A is up to the servers as well in Ivy. Vati did some damage, chip damage to Malbs, it looks like. He swings out and sees that nobody's home. But again, Denial's in that spot that you do not want to be that first guy that dies. You do not want to be benched to not be able to help your team get back into this game. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Vati, he's aggressive. He's up close and personal to T-Con. A flash comes in, but it's not going to develop anything. They're able to clear their eyes and then re-peek. Vati has spotted two players onto that side. And Sam now will catch a little bit of nade damage, putting him down to 53 HP. On the side of Infinity, they're going to be moving to Ivy off of that. Oh, well, they got to check top train. Yeah, leaving okay. two members towards middle to push out. Spamzy able to take down Vati now. And, and Spamzy actually taking down Sam as well. Malms loses Ooh, that AK. Sickly takes down Spamzy, and we're into a three on three. It's a great shot from Sickly, in, but he's not able to stand much too longer. Link pinned in behind Picked the E-Box e right now. They'll be able to plant this bomb safely on the opposing side, camera side of the bomb train, and escape the site. Even though Link has an AK right now and head armor, he's a big threat. But he's trying to flank this one around the outside, going across to Olaf. See if he can get over towards Old Hell. He cannot. It is just blue, and he too will fall. So, no rifle round uh, success, or rather force buy for Denial. Instead, their rifle round will come when Infinity are already at 15. Yeah, they are going to buy HEs into this round and try and make something happen for themselves. Maybe a little bit of prenade action towards the T-Connector. That could catch Infinity off if they do choose to rush out that team in and try and end the round early. But as freeze time does come undone, we will see points leading the charge. Where is he going to head to? He's going to head to Inner. So I do imagine Infinity are going to make the great call here. They are going to be taking Taking inner and they're going to take it uncontested, Dallas. Yeah, let's see if they do it quickly, too. Now, Davies is over towards Ivy, but right now, Denial should be headed up that ladder soon enough. They're in the ladder room, but who has the bravery to go up there? Spamsy gets the first kill. Now they see that the jig's up. 
Denial, who had done a nade stack into T-Con, are really re recognizing now that, that those grenades just fell on deaf ears. One CT's in CT spawn, oh, atypical spot, but they still do clear his angle out. And they're taking these fights at such long, long angles and long distances, except oh. for Blue. His was point blank range. So he just shoves the suppressor into him. And Link at point blank range as well is able to pick up a kill. And a Galil. Okay, gets taken down by Spamzy, the final member in blue. Does get the dink off onto Cruzin, but he is taken down as Infinity get their 15th round. And moving into this gun round, Denial, 12 in a row is what they're going to need to take it to OT here, Dallas. I yep. think this hill is a little too it, steep. It is steep, but they do have a chance. The, the, it's just the problem is Denial were so far behind on their T side. They didn't get anything to go for them that there's not enough room to, to get their chances, your second chance, your third chance on your CT side to make an impact. So sure, it's CT sided, but when you get past Pistol, you get past your Force Buy, and you have to eco the next one, you have one chance, one chance. Okay, Infinity heading heavily towards Ivy very early on here. Spamzy, he will be solo above this ladder, holding this inner push, creating a little bit of presence. Not too much going on for him otherwise, however, as Infinity looking to just progress down Ivy and hopefully pick up a first frag of the round. Oh, Spamzy, he's the solo man out here. He has spotted Sam. Throw Maltov in, responded by a grenade that does virtually nothing. But look how weak the presence is to the east side of the A site. Yeah, well, Sickly's, op out here. Sickly's actually opping down this Ivy, and now he gets smoked off. So, yeah, it gets pretty weak for him. It will be a wrap coming out from the Infinity side. Sickly has no idea what's happening. The rotation oh, coming towards B. CT. Can Sam pick anything up? Ooh, nice shot out oh, of he's him. He's got two. Can he get the third? He the does. Third. They save the day. What a cool strategy from Infinity as well, and it was perfectly played considering there was no direct Ivy presence. Everybody was passive already onto the site, but a great rotation right there. Sam gets into the right spot, realizing now from that op call from Sickly saying, I don't see anybody coming through the front door of Ivy. They're in back lanes. Put somebody back into CT. Okay, 15 to four. Denal getting one round closer to tying this one up. <laughs> Good, good one. It's true, but it's so far away. There's a chance. It was just, oh, uh, well, it was, you were so confident about it. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Sam A jumping out. What a shot from him. Just the one tap down range. They've got that first, but they still have to deal with Sam. He's been mollied. He's got the smoke out behind him. That's going to help him out a little bit. So he's got some room to speak of. He's going to dump every grenade that he absolutely has. Loses the fight against Davies, and it's not like this. You win that last round so convincingly for, for Denial, but now you're outnumbered. But you do have a lot of damage dealt against these guys. Yeah. The utility's being expended in both directions, but suddenly Sp Spamsy lets Link walk past him, then deals with him after that one. May have been a flashbang that made the confusion. It's now 1v2, 1v1 for Cruzen. Sickly taps the bomb. Cruzen decides to go wrap around the outside, and he's starting to sprint this one out. Sells his position, Ooh. but Cruzen takes the clutch 1v2 for him and it is a 16-4 completely different animal than it was for the first two maps that both went to the end of regulation a completely different map like you just said 16 to 4 being the scoreline phenomenal effort out of infinity closing this one out in such confident fashion that you wouldn't even believe that the last two maps went to overtime as well as a 16-4